you were talking about the, the stages of change. The stages of change, yeah, because a lot of like people like why people don't don't really yeah they're sitting that. in their cubicle they're comfortable perhaps they say uh, you know this job's given me insurance <laughs> and predictability and enough to pay the rent and and you know it, it's a job like they say and mm. you know the acronym is uh, just over broke just over broke <laughs> yeah you always steal my line <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, yeah so how do you think about those stages uh, like if if people look at their life and where they're at w what are the stages of well there's five change? stages um, I can't remember what psychologists came up with them do you remember uh, no okay Anyway, there are five stages. It's very uh, popular in psychology. People use this for addictions and any time you want to make a change. So there's pre-contemplation, mm. which means you don't even know you want to change. You're kind of like thinking, this is just, like you don't even have that kind of even thought of changing. You just, so everything's just, this is just the way it is. Like there's no possibility. The second stage is when you start to think, you have contemplation, where you're starting to think about the change. You're not taking action yet, but you're going, you know, I'm a, I, I want to do something different or, or so, this just isn't making me happy anymore. You start thinking about what's possible or what can you do? What change can you make? And usually in contemplation, I see is I change jobs and mm -hmm. I thought, well, maybe if I could just get another job, maybe that'll give me that reward I wanted. And, and so that's the contemplation. Then there's this big threshold between contemplation and actually commitment. Commitment is the third level where you're actually committing mm -hmm. to something. So you're taking a training, you are opening up a, um, a little site, and this doesn't mean you quit your job, it can just mean you're committed to start this business. You start researching, you're serious about it, you're doing action toward it. And so I think the big problem is that most people, when they think about it, they stay there so long. And, they, and it, actually, the longer you stay in contemplation, the more uncomfortable you are. Um, when you're in pre-contemplation, you don't realize you have a problem. It's like someone who drinks and they don't realize they're, they're an alcoholic and they're just like, I don't have a problem. But then they start thinking about, oh, no, I am. I got to do something about this. Then it's, it's that kind of, it's, it's the most uncomfortable place to be. It's a necessary stage because we have to become aware that we want to change. But if we don't do anything about it, it is very insecure. Mm -hmm. It feels confusing. It feels... Um, uh, it, it can be depressing after a while. You're kind of like you're awake now. <laughs> and then what you do is you cross over that line, that, that barrier to take action, which is a huge step for a lot of people. For me, it was. It took forever for me to kind of start taking action. And that action doesn't guarantee like you're going to be successful now. You're going to go through resistance after that. There's, a, um, there's times where you're going to go back. Um, a lot of people will start something and then they'll go right back to contemplation again. They'll go back over that threshold and then it's even harder because you're, you're, you have to go over again. Like you, you've already climbed the wall and then when you go back, you're actually, now I have to climb that wall again to get started again. And so anytime we are in action and we start making a commitment to something, the best thing we can do is commit to it. And then the fourth stage is uh, regression where you regress back. That's that stage where, you know, it doesn't happen. It's not as easy as I thought. Right, you get discouraged. You get discouraged. And then you go back to contemplation. You're like, mm, maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. Or I have, I don't know if I can do this. And you're back again <laughs> in there. And then the fifth stage is um, maintenance, maintenance, where you're actually yeah. moving and doing it. So I think a lot of people think, well, I'm just going to go and, you know, become an entrepreneur and it should be easy because it's no, just sit that's on the, the beach part. after that. Like taking that first <laughs> leap is, is, or even thinking about it is you're making change. Mm -hmm. Like I'm thinking about being a coach. And I can tell you so many times when my book came out, Let Love In, back in 2010, it's 10 years already, um, people always said to me, you know, I wanted to write a book. I've mm -hmm. always wanted to write a book. And I said, well, why don't right. you? 